actual address. Respected dignitaries on the dais and my dear students, before I start, I request every one of you to kindly raise, kindly raise and express gratitude to two great personalities for sparing their valuable time to us by a huge round of applause. Now you can imagine the seriousness of the problem that the entire world is facing. The DCP sir himself is personally with us for the last two and a half hours, sparing all his important work aside. So that means you know how important these two topics are. My dear students, I know you are hungry. Yes? All right. So I will not take more than two to three minutes. So I hope you can bear with me. Yes? Yes. Okay, thank you. Let me mention one important story. Have you heard of Warren Buffett? Warren Buffett? One of the richest person in this world. He has a passion to play golf. So all these rich people have a passion to play golf, you know that. So he along with the Bill Gates and other great richest people in this world, one day they were playing this golf and one among them said, there is no motivation, let us keep on competition. And the competition is the one who puts the ball into the pit in a single attempt has to be rewarded. And what to reward? They said each one of us will contribute $50. And then the volunteers started collecting money from everyone. Everyone gave except Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett said, I will not give. Then everyone said, this is a small peanut for you. It is $50. You are one among the richest person in this world. For you it is nothing. He said, no. I will not give. Then again the team members pressurized him. Maybe you are angry with him. We just want to know what is there in your mind. And Warren Buffett said, if you are stupid of these small things, you will be stupid of great things too. So he said, there is no meaning in it. We are playing not to because to gain money. We are playing out of passion to release the stress. That is, should be the motivation, not the money. And sometimes it is applicable to us. As the saying goes, if you are stupid about small things, you will be stupid about big things too. What I relate to this program is, there are a lot of people who smoke. It is a stupid manner of small thing. And the next it goes to the drugs and substance abuse and some more. Let me tell you, when you are smoking or when you are abusing the drugs or substance, you are neglecting your health. And you should remember, when you are neglecting your health, health also neglects you. Let me tell you how this uh, smoking, you know, addiction happens. There were three people who were walking on the streets. They are good friends. Out of which two of them were chain smokers. Third one did not smoke till day. So these friends, they started smoking and they gave a cigarette to this person also. Actually, he don't want to smoke, but to please his friends, he took a cigarette and started smoking. And the friends asked, how is it? Actually, you know, it is very sour, it is not tasty. To please his friends, he said, fantastic. What did he say? Fantastic. And when you say fantastic, you have a powerful mind within you which knows to say yes. So your mind said yes. And automatically the taste buds are ignited. So next time also he started smoking and he felt more and more tastier. This is how the drug addicts or the smoking addiction happens. There are so many de-addiction centers. But 
it is a strong will power that is required for us to stop that so today madam has shown a very beautiful video the moment you think of all this immediately you think of your parents you have your siblings you have your relatives how they will feel when something happens to you that is the primary thing that we should understand and you know the primary goal of education is to make ourselves fearless to make us more confident to take the challenges in our life i don't want to say more because more you know the legal aspects the physiological aspect the psychological aspects are also covered by the two great resource persons today now once a doctor was called by an ngo to address a group of alcoholics doctor wanted to demonstrate how alcohol cause damage to the human body he took two beakers in the first beaker it was the water and in the second beaker it was alcohol and he took earthworms you know earthworms he took earthworms and dropped into both the beakers after some time the earthworm which was placed in the beaker containing water survived and the alcohol which was placed in the beaker containing alcohol disintegrated then the doctor asked the group of alcoholics what is the moral of the story and the alcohol is happily said if you drink alcohol there will be no worms in your stomach was that the actual moral no this is what we call as a selective listening so i hope you have not selectively listened you have listened to everything including the legal the physiological and the psychological aspects of this great menace and the next topic that we wanted to highlight today is about the ragging just because your juniors have born one or two years later than you they are not your subordinates your duty to see that they are comfortable in the campus even asking them to sing a song and if the student don't like it it is a punishable under the indian penal code and asking a name in a manner which he feels as an insult is also ragging forget about other hazardous issues happening in the ragging you see there are so many people who commit suicide because they couldn't sustain the ragging the current generation are mentally weak some of them because of the food and because of the addiction with the screen so it is each one of us responsibility to take care of two things let us make this campus as a drug free zone and also let us make this campus as a ragging free campus i hope you all will cooperate to maintain the dignity of the students and if you start then the message will go out and the entire nation will be drug free and also the ragging free i wish you all the best once again i thank the deputy commissioner of police who was also a teacher like us before joining the police department so that i feel it is a really passionate to be with the student sir has said that he will go early but now he was there till the end of the program keeping aside all his important tasks from all the institutions here i express sincere gratitude to you sir and madam who is the dean of student affairs of yenopoya deemed to be university and also heading the center for drug abuse and prevention is also madam is also very busy but still as a love towards this institution she has come here and address all of us once again i express my gratitude to you madam and to all my students who spend this about more than 3 hours in a disciplined manner let me congratulate you all to the students of pa college of pharmacy as well as pa first grade college a big salute to you all and i wish you all the best thank you very much